Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna start the first of several videos regarding the Mavic Mini. Now I am a drone enthusiast, I have been for years, and I'd like to start this channel with a video about this tiny little guy. It's the first generation Mavic Mini and uh, I'm gonna talk about the pros, the cons, and everything else in between about the Mavic Mini. And I'm not gonna take, the, take off these stickers because this is my second Mavic Mini, and I'm actually gonna sell this one. Uh, so I already have it listed on sale for, on like eBay. I'm not gonna fly it too much just to record several videos. I will talk about what my main drone is because I have, like currently I have I think like four drones, including this one, but uh, had a lot of experience with my first one, sold my first one, hacked it many, several times because uh, these guys are fun to hack. And we'll talk about that too in a separate video. But uh, right now let's get into the Mavic Mini and I'll tell you pretty much everything I know about it because I've had it for like six months. So let's go. As I said, this is my second Mavic Mini and this is the American version or the FCC version. And I like to show you the difference that I noticed right away. I don't think my original Mavic Mini had this uh, I have the CE version or the European version, is this little bump on the front antenna. Uh, it has on the both antennas. And I guess this is what makes the signal a little bit stronger uh, because the FCC version, you can fly quite a bit farther than in the European version. Of course, the Mavic Mini has the 2.7K camera. This is not the 4K camera that's on the Mini 2, but again, it's not a con. Uh, it's a pro, I see it, because in uh, my experience, I've never really used 4K unless I'm shooting professionally. And this is not a professional drone. This is like a fun little buzzing around drone. Then the battery hub back here. Also back here, you can plug this in and you have the space for your memory card. Now, the USB plug-in, really convenient. It will actually charge the battery. The lights will blink if you plug it in and you charge it. Very convenient because most of my other drones Actually, all of my other, other drones, I think, you can't charge the battery while it's in the drone. You have to charge it separately. So let's talk about the propellers now. I don't like these flimsy little things. I don't like the motors either. But what do you want from a $400 drone? Now, my Mavic Pro, a $1,000 drone, or my Hotel Evo, yeah, those things have uh, some serious power. This is just a tiny little drone, but it buzzes. I mean, it will fly really, really fast. Uh, what I did, so what I did with this little guy one, I had it and I used it quite a bit. And again, the next videos, we're gonna test the range on it. I'll see how far the FCC version will go in Europe. And uh, another drawback of uh, DJI or Mavic is as soon as you turn this on in, well, anywhere outside of America, unless you have it hacked, unless you have it uh, broken into, uh, it will switch to European regulations. So it will switch to basically reduced power. So it's not gonna fly as far, but uh, what I did with this little guy when I had it, just so it would be a fun drone to have, I never took it out of sport mode. In regular mode, it will fly normally. It will fly slow. 
I never took this thing out of sport mode. So in sport mode, you could actually compare the speed of it to like Mavic Pro regular mode, or even Hotel Evo regular mode, or even Mavic Air regular mode. It's a fun little toy. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I never, again, I never took it out of sport mode. The drawback, of course, is the remote itself. Compared to Mavic Air, compared to Mavic Pro, compared to DJI Spark, the remote has a serious drawback. It doesn't have the button anywhere on here that switches it into sport mode. Every other drone I have, you can do it on the remote, except for the Hotel Evo. Which is surprising because Hotel Evo remote has like three times as many buttons as any other remote. But here you can't switch it to sport mode. Also, I noticed this is the FCC version remote. Uh, it's much heavier than the uh, European version. The European version, as soon as I picked up the remote, I'm like, man, this is like a toy. It's not even a remote. This is much heavier. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but I think the FCC version remote, the FCC version Mavic, Mavic Mini, is actually much heavier. Uh, well, not heavier. Designed the remote is heavier. The Mavic Mini has this little bump on the antenna. Um, another drawback that you notice right away with the Mavic Mini when you fly, as you're flying away, because these antennas are pointed toward you, you get much better signal. But as soon as you turn around at max distance to come home, you will lose signal. You will lose the video link. The signal is much weaker when the Mavic is facing you rather than when it's flying away from you. So just another thing to keep in mind because, you know, it gives you a heart attack when <laughs> uh, you're flying far distances. And again, according to DJI, you're not even supposed to, well, according to FAA and according to DJI, you're not supposed to fly it beyond your line of sight. But again, I'm in a country that uh, the FAA rules do not apply to. Uh, is it FAA? I think so. <laughs> um, so I can fly it beyond line of sight, but most drones I fly, I never go beyond a mile because you don't really need to. You get close to an object you want to record and you record it. It's not the distance thing, although I will test the range on it. Uh, let's talk about the battery. With the Fly More Combo, and I always, if there is an option to get a Fly More Combo, always get a Fly More Combo. It doesn't matter which drone you buy. Uh, my Mavic Air, I have, I think, like eight batteries for it. And I have a portable battery charger for it. A DJI Mini Fly More Combo, three batteries for it. My Mavic Pro, I have five batteries for it. My Mav uh, my Hotel Evo, I have five batteries for it. So always get uh, extra batteries. Just makes life, life so much simpler. Uh, the battery on the Mavic Air, or I'm sorry, on the Mavic Mini, Again, biggest drawback is you can't check the level of the charge on this battery. And I know they try to save on weight. You can't check the level of the charge without either having it in the hub or without placing it inside the drone. So if you place it inside the drone, you press the little button, it lights up. That's how you can ch check the actual charge of the actual battery. Not very convenient, especially when you have like eight of these in your case. I have it with my Mavic Air and you're like, okay, I know I got two of them charged. It's gonna take you a while to throw them all in the hubs or throw them all in the drone. I just pick them up, I press the button on my other drones. I see, oh, it's charged. I can take it with me, go fly. The other like five are 25% charge or 50% charge for hibernation storage. I don't need that many. If I need to shoot some project that will require a ton of batteries, then I charge them all. But 
very inconvenient not to have a level displayed on the battery itself. So that's a con. Let's think what else we can talk about. Okay, so now let's talk about the battery charger itself. Uh, with most DJI drones, and actually with most other drones, these chargers are a huge drawback because they charge all of the batteries sequentially, which means they charge one battery at a time. Uh, I have, hang on, hold that thought. So for my Mavic Air and for my Mavic Pro, I have this, I guess it's called Smart, Smart, Smart 3 uh, portable charger. Now, the big benefit of this is not the fact that you can charge your batteries, like it really is portable. This is uh, just a huge battery, basically. The biggest plus of this is not that you can charge the batteries while on the go. This thing will charge every single battery that's plugged into it at the same time. So if I turn it on right now, it will charge three Mavic Air batteries in less than an hour with the charging hubs that come from DJI, it will take you three times as long to charge three batteries. That's the biggest drawback with these hubs, but they do come in handy for storage. So boom, throw three batteries in here and you don't have to worry about like where to keep your batteries. Uh, when I had my uh, Mavic Mini, my previous Mavic Mini, I had two of these <laughs> and I had a ton of batteries. Uh, so uh, when I sold it, the guy was like, sweet. I mean, you get two chargers, you can charge batteries twice as fast, you can fly twice as much. Basically all my drones I have, I can fly them for hours without ever having to come back home and plug in the drone or the battery um, until I run out of juice. Um, remote, I'll co come back to this. They need to make a longer battery for the remote. Uh, remote will last you probably about 10 flights, which is good. But for professionals, uh, well, again, we have more than one remote for every single drone. For most of my drones, I have at least two remotes that are fully charged, so I can switch them out. But if you want to fly the whole day, this is your lifeline to your drone. And the remote charge will last you only a couple of hours. After that, you need to take a break and let the remote charge from zero to a hundred again before you're able to fly it. So what else can we talk about when it comes to Mavic Mini? As I look at it, I, will, I have only one other con I'd like to add, but most drones are guilty of this, uh, except for Mavic Air out of the ones that I have. No built-in memory. Most people will say, well, how can you forget the memory card? If you have just one drone, and if you just have one memory card, and if you fly really rarely, odds are you probably won't forget it. But when you're constantly switching out memory cards, yeah, you can forget a memory card. And a drone without the memory card, it's useless. Uh, good thing about the Mavic Mini is it will still allow you to record onto your phone just in lower quality. I think it allows you to record in 720p. But still, create drones. This is for DJI with built-in memory. So for now, that's it for the first part of the review. This is just basically in-home review. Uh, next video, we'll go outside. And oh, so now I just got to answer the question. Is the Mavic Mini still a good drone as we're closing to uh, getting close to 2022? And I will say that, yes, it's a very, very good drone in 2022, even though this is several years old now, uh, because, well, for several reasons. First, it's small. Second, it's not very expensive. Third, it's freaking tiny. I mean, seriously, look how tiny this thing is. 
when I had mine, it most of the time was in my car just laying somewhere because it's so tiny. One battery, you throw it in, it will charge, so you can throw it on the charger. I carried it around just in case something would happen and I would have to film it. The remote is bigger and heavier than the drone. So you would throw these two in the car, you're good to go. Your cell phone is already with you. So for 2022, you don't need the Mavic. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just the Mini 2. You don't need the Mini 2. Mavic Mini for the price. And right now I think they have the Mavic uh, SE version. But Mavic Mini is perfect tiny drone for 2022. It will go a mile away. You don't need to go any further. Uh, it will record everything you need to record. It has smart modes. Again, we're gonna re review all that further down the line in the next video when I take this outside in the daytime. Right now it's really freaking dark outside. Speaking of dark, compared to Mavic Pro, this thing actually records better at night than Mavic Pro. <laughs> but I'll show you that as well because we're gonna have a video where I'll show you the max range, all the functions, and night flight. So we'll have at least three more videos for this little guy. But for now, I thank you for your time. Make sure to su subscribe to the channel if you're a drone enthusiast. Leave a like, share with your friends, help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys later.